Hey Virgo, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so take what works, leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. And if I don't catch your wavelength and storyline on this reading, or even if I do, check your other major placements. Those are Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are starting with these Oracle, um, this monster combo of Oracle cards here, the Moonology and the Work Your Light. Uh, oracle cards and then we'll move to the muse tarot which is new to this channel new to my work on this channel um uh, for a more traditional spread all right okay okay we have two already we'll cut the deck take another there we go Okay, balance spirituality and practical practicality full moon in Pisces. So some sort of, you know, meditation, um, getting in touch with your spirituality, your intuition, and having it be sort of a dance with sort of more practical aspects. I take this as like allowing your intuition to inspire you and then figuring out the nuts and bolts. And so we're not just having inspiration all out here uh, with no ability to manifest it, no ability to bring it in. Uh, but we're also thinking through some of the more logical difficulties and being a little practical. So we're bringing in both into a beautiful little dance here full moon in Pisces an emotional situation possibly I do always see these little fish as like dogs sniffing each other's butts so um, so getting to know um, somebody or something or having some sort of interaction um, but we're we're bringing in sort of two opposite forces opposite ideas into in together and bringing them and and helping them work together and get used getting adjustment adjusting to the combination here so balancing spirituality and practicality and then we have star mother how can you mother yourself sometimes um uh in my in my uh playlists i have some songs that i usually um reference and this is one of them it's um Sinead o'connor she does a really great uh duet with Mary J. Blige um, about the system mother you. So we can't always, our mothers were just human beings and so they weren't able to be everything. Um, no mother is. So, um, so where they fell down and what they were not able to provide, we provide for ourselves. So mothering yourself, caring for yourself, caring and being very protective of your uh, little inner inner light here so how can you mother yourself caring for yourself and i believe caring for yourself does is going to involve involve some spirituality some meditation probably and um being practical because the mother not only provides like that deep uh connection earthly connection but they're also you know making sure you're fed and 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 clean um and all of that so taking care of yourself both spiritually and practically and then council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtler realm so whatever you're dealing with this week seems actually a little bit uh intense you're going to need some self-mothering some self-care a lot of self-care but not only self-care there's been uh there's something going on um you are supported um, you are supported possibly you have a team of support here in the physical realm and you may also have a team of support uh, that remains unseen to you oh I, I do believe this is like balanced spirituality and practicality so going to your spiritual teachers your spirit guides you know um, we have the Kuan Yin here and she's one of my um, guides and uh, and we have all sorts of you know Buddha and Ram Dass is also incredibly important to me um, so these spiritual teachers Teachers, um, maybe looking to spiritual teachings for some guidance for maybe even filling in some sort of um, hole in your own psyche that your very human mother was incapable or unavailable to fill and finding a spiritual um, teachings or something like that to um, to balance that out to um, to bring in bring in something that you weren't um, 
you weren't uh, provided for, you know, because we all come here with a different skill set, different abilities um, in born. And then we also have, we all have different teachers that teach us different skill sets. So it's, it's unlikely you would make it to adulthood with um, er knowing everything you need to know for every situation you're going to be in. So uh, this is looking to me like looking for spiritual teaching, especially with spirituality, star mother. This is basically, you know, mother Mary, you may be Catholic. Um, source materials is what we call those. Um, all of the, you know, religions um, that have guided people from all over the world um, throughout time. Um, all of those can be mined for um, really helpful connections to the spiritual to our spirituality. So, uh, going where you, wherever you find that connection, um, whatever path you find that connection on, um, it's just like this, like. What we're doing right here is, you know, we take what works and we leave what doesn't. And this is sort of an intuitive uh, collaborative process here. I'm pulling cards. I'm intuiting what they mean. And you're, you know, figuring out if my interpretations are making sense to you. Sometimes the card itself makes more sense to you than I do. So go with the card. And when I go off on a tangent, that's not connecting to you. So anyway, yeah. all right. Accessing some spiritual guidance here this week. All right, Virgo. This is your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's an issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. So this deck I have found, um, this, this deck is new to this channel, the Muse Tarot. Lots of people enjoy this deck. It's very bright. Um, I've had it for a long time and have not connected to it, and it just called to me this week. I had a bunch of personal readings that were very powerful with it, and so I am using it now. But I do find it impossible to keep the cards... Um, they're all very topsy-turvy and the words are all different. The things are all, so there's a lot more um, sort of openings for intuitive reads to come through on this one. So it's a little wild for me. Um, it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit wild, but I'm getting, I am really enjoying it too. So six of voices, this is going to be our six of swords. I'm going to have to make these interpretations like so this is um, leaving a place of pain. So this is where you've been and what you've known. Here it is. It's pretty. These are collages too. So I have been using the um, Golden Tarot with Renaissance collages and Renaissance art collages. And this is a little more modern, but still that collage um, idea. So this is um, in your recent past six of voices, leaving some place, leaving a very painful place. Um, there's been some guidance. There's been some help possibly from these folks here, but you've had some help over a very sharp, painful, difficult place. The six of voices is all about, there's been a lot of pain and you made a choice to leave the past behind. You made a choice to move away from that painful place. The pain that you knew, the unknown, which I have no idea why we humans are like this, but we tend to not, we tend to be a little bit afraid of the unknown. Um, and so we stick with the known, even when the known, even when what is, even when what exists becomes painful and difficult and, and hard and horrible and hellish, we'll still stay there over the fears of the unknowns and the uncertain, right? So this is um, having stayed someplace long enough where the unknown and whatever lies ahead, I don't even give a shit. I'm leaving this behind. So that's the energy of the six of voices. Um, this really comes in the way this card is designed. It really comes in that there's been help. There's been assistance. You've been guided through a very painful transition. And it is a sense of leaving. I mean, we have these other cards that are leaps of faith forward. And this is a leap of faith away. It's just jumping away. It's taking, finally taking your hand off that hot burner. It's painful. It sucks. You don't even care where your hand goes after that. It's just as long as it's away from that, that burner. So that's what's going, that's what's been going on. That's in your recent past is this decision to, um, to move away from a painful, someplace that's very painful for you. Um, in your current situation, you have four of materials. You right now, you're a little bit obsessed with something, a little bit fascinated by something. This is, has a strong, the four of materials is going to be our four of pentacles. It's got a strong, um, vibe of, um, 
of obsession um, but love just really being in love with something really that that first um, bit where it's an infatuation you're infatuated with something um, it's really caught your attention and it's very exciting for you you may be ignoring other things you may be ignoring a lot of other things as you focus on on this new thing so you left something painful and now you're focused on this new beautiful thing um, usually it has to do with work but I don't see that I mean the four materials in this deck is coming through as a gardener a rose gardener and um and so it's just being really into your roses and that's what you're going to talk about and that's what you want to do and that's what you think about and that's what you plan about and you buy you know the right chemicals for your garden and the right um, a fertilizer I mean for your garden and and you've got all the tools now and you're very excited and um, someone might be like you want to go to a movie and you're like no I'm I'm researching how to do my roses right now <laughs> so um, so there's a little bit of that infatuation leaving some stuff behind it looks like um, it's coming it's coming new as 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 a new thing from from sort of this uh, barren landscape of just like uh, maybe you were bored maybe you were uh, tired but but you've come in from some sort of barren landscape maybe some sort of painful place and uh, you've come in from that into some sort of like uh, obsession not obsession infatuation and so some sort of a fat obsession has such a negative vibe this is a temporary low-key infatuation with something and then in your inner landscape, you have strength, but it came out reverse. So uh, you're feeling very impatient, very much ready to go. You've got some sort of roaring beast inside you that you have not tamed. Uh, you're, it's, this, it's this infatuation vibe. It's this infatuation where, where it's so exciting and you want to charge forward and you want to move forward. You have this uh, strong lion. Um, and this is, um, you know, how you're supposed to like uh, lead your dog on a leash and you're in charge and you're supposed to, according to, what was his name? I don't know that guy that had that dog show anyway you're the you're the um the alpha dog right of your little team but instead um instead the dog's taking you for a walk here and you've got some impatience going on you might be afraid of impatience afraid of something oh you might be afraid of something uh awakening that is already awakening up inside you but it's strong and you might be afraid you won't be able to control it that it's just going to come out in this strong fierce way that could terrify people and gobble up everybody at the zoo but there's a, a sense of um you could be very worried about the strength how intensely you're feeling right now and it's this inner inner part of you that you might not want to let out that but but this infatuation is 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 uh, it's making it very hard to control this beast this beast the beast within the impatient um roaring beasts within um so normally it's strength in the upright would be like you're thinking about patience you want to you're you're doing a good job this is like barely restrained holding yourself back worried that if this if this strength of 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 how you feel inside whatever it is if that came out it would devour everyone um everyone around you so um so so there might be some struggles with feeling patient and feeling like you can withstand some of the feelings you have inside and if it's this infatuation that's pretty amazing and then you have this wheel something's not moving forward it's just not moving there's um there's there's the wheel upright it's in reverse here and what's at issue what's going on is is not is a change of seasons there's a change of seasons happening on here and you might be resistant to it you might be um it might not be changing the seasons might not be changing but the wheel the wheel in the upright and the reverse is really about massive changes of season and maybe the season isn't who maybe the season isn't what you want maybe it's not changing the way you want maybe it's a new season and you're worried that that the season isn't gonna go it's it's like you want the new season to be spring clearly spring or summer um but what if the new season is winter what if it's it's worse so there's just big changes going on around you there are big changes uh both um within you and outside of you there are changes that you can see and very clearly something's changing but you can also there's changes that you don't see there's changes going on behind the scenes so 
there's um, just this is a, just the world turning and changing. I mean, it is going to whether we're we're able to move it in the direction we want to move it or not. So there's big changes going on, maybe not going the way you want them to, maybe not going in the direction that you want. Um, or maybe you're resisting them, but yeah, big changes going on in your environment. You have the seven of inspiration. This is, um, this is going to be seven of wands. I'm just paused here while I try to like sort through what I'm seeing, um, because this is a new deck to me. So. Um, it is it is standing up for what you believe in. Uh, there's something here where you're going to need to be strong. Uh, you maybe you're afraid that you're not strong enough for this. Maybe you're afraid that you don't you're not going to be able to be um, strong through this because the situation around you is demanding a lot of strength. It's demand. It's almost like demanding that you hold the you hold the elevator door open. Um, and it's a very, it's an industrial elevator and you're not sure you can hold it open. The situation around you is, is asking you to take an action that requires a lot of inner strength, a lot of determination, and maybe even a lot of boldness, a lot of a sense of, of a, a movement, or there is this movement around you, um, this movement that is strong, that is bold, that is, it comes in with a purpose and with intent. The, not like, oh, I think I might do this, but there's a, there's a purpose coming through here, um, a sense of purpose. And there's something in your environment that's asking you to, so again, here's the card. Here we have the crosswalk powers of keeping things at bay, keeping things from closing, um, putting ourselves maybe on the line here to, um, to, I mean, and the seven of wands is going to be standing up for what you believe in, standing up for what you believe in and, and, um, holding something, um, holding an opening here for your own self, for your own vision, for what you see and what you want. And you're the one that's, um, th that's taking action, but this is in your environment. So there could be somebody else here that's holding open a door for you. Um, it is taking a lot of strength. It is taking a lot of power, but they're standing their ground. They're standing with what they believe in and they're holding the door open and they're, um, so there could be somebody around you standing up for what they believe in, um, taking a, taking some clear action uh, towards um, what they want in a way that's almost resisting the way the world is trying to change here. So there's somebody that's resisting the world, resisting the changes here, resisting what, what would naturally happen and creating some sort of um, initiative act, initiative laden action here. So uh, yeah. And then uh, what's at issue here is we have um, or your to-do list. Your to-do list is the reverse justice. This seems fucked up if you ask me. The justice of right is about how you get where you're going, like the integrity the, um, of how you get there. That It's not just the destination, it's how you get to the destination that's important. And your to-do list here is reverse justice. Maybe to keep some things hidden. Maybe to, you're going into, you're going to the same place. You're going, there's, a, there's maybe not bringing in karmic justice. Maybe not bringing in justice. Maybe um, allowing some things to be hidden, some things to be withheld. Um, because justice would normally be bringing in a lot of truth, uh, bringing in some balance, um, bringing in some fairness. Um, so if you've been treated unfairly, maybe this is asking you to not bring that in, uh, not make that an issue, withhold the need for justice of what happened in the past um, and, and putting that need, uh, which is a valid need, but putting it off to the side. Um, this could also be not needing something to be perfectly balanced, allowing some, there to be some sort of imbalance, allowing for um, people to be at different places, at different levels, allowing for um, 
but this is really interesting because we're talking about balancing spirituality and practicality here. But the situation has somebody standing up for what they believe in, for what they want, uh, very intuitively. And so this is um, injustice, like not being, I, th I feel like it's not being, if it were in the upright, it would be like bring in some fairness. But I feel like this is allow for the unfairness, allow for some level of imbalance here, allow for, um, you know, karma to do its job, not you. You don't need to, um, like dropping an idea of retribution. I'm not saying be unjust. I'm not saying lie. I'm not saying cheat. I'm not saying, because that is not, a if the universe wants you to have that message, you need to find a different reader because I am not capable of providing you with that message. So, um, I mean, there could be, I, I, there is a sense where there are some times where it is more fair to withhold something or it's kind of, it's better um, for everybody involved for you not to, not to, pers not for you to, I do want to say lie, actually. I have been in situations where I've had to lie for my own safety, right? And um, and that's okay to prioritize survival over uh, <laughs> like minute morality details <laughs> like that. Yeah, like, but that's not my normal. It was very hard. It was incredibly difficult. Um, so I'm not saying bring in injustice, although it is possible that's the message um, and I don't understand the full situation. Uh, but that also would bring in possibly some justifications, some, I don't know. But um, maybe don't justify, maybe that's the justice, is we don't need to justify our decisions. That you don't need that. That the situation, this situation doesn't need you to bring in any karma, you to bring in any justice, you to bring everything to be even, Stephen, and perfectly fair. Like, take care of yourself, but you don't, I don't, I don't see that you need that in this situation. It's not calling for justice. You're not being called to hold people accountable right now for things. You're not being called to um, bring in to prioritize um, brutal honesty. I think you could be being called more towards a period of grace, a grace period here. And then uh, where we're going. Wait, really? Oh, okay. It's just these reversals in the different names. We have four of emotions is where we're going. So the four in reverse. So the four is typically going to be um, tired of the routine, tired of things being always the same, um, everything going back to the way it was, tired. There's an offer being made again, and there's an offer being refused finally. Like to me, it's always a, a thing of breaking a cycle. The way this one shows up is it's like you've had enough and now you are enough. Um, but this four of emotions or four of cups reverse to me is like, um, the, the gist of it is there's an offer and then there's a refusal. So reverse would be like either there's no offer or there's no refusal. It, the cycle of offer and refusal gets broken as offer and acceptance. So that could be a possibility for the four of emotions or coming out of some sort of depression, coming out of some sort of, um, Coming out of a depression, I want to say too that if you're too focused on justice and what's fair, you may end up, that gets reflected back on you, right? Because these like um, judgment and justice, this is a bare light bulb in a room. It shines 360, 360, it just shines and, and you can't have it shine on other people, but not on yourself, right? So that sense of judgment and harshness and, and a harsh justice is something that, um, that, that you end up shining in on yourself. So if you're judging other people very harshly, you're going to be judging yourself very harshly, at least with most people. So this could be, um, being gentler with this. Your job is to be gentler and possibly even gentler with yourself. Um, coming out of a, um, this is not being able to see an offer, but being able to see an offer, being able to acknowledge, um, that something, something is okay. Like not, there's either not a refusal this time, 
or there's just not an offer this time. But there was something I was going for with this judge justice and 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 uh, evaluation and evaluating yourself less harshly as well as this whole situation. All right, well, Virgo, that was an interesting reading for you. I feel like um, there's, I don't know, <laughs> there's a lot. All right, do we have anything from Kuan Yin today? Oh. I have like really bad shuffling here on my part. What happened to my hands? <laughs> All right. All right, Kuan Yin. What do we have? All right. Bright future. Woo! Brightness of your future. Listen to your discontent, your yearning. You want something true. You should not just be quiet and get back to your day job or how things have been. And if you are making, as if you are making a drama out of nothing, you are meant to be moved by these feelings to become more alive. Trust in the brightness of what is meant to be. That's what I see here is like you becoming more alive, more infatuated with something, um, trusting in the brightness that of what is meant to be beautiful all right virgo i hope that that was helpful for you um thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes and your comments i very much appreciate them